The idea of having a perfect analog system is perhaps a bit of dream chasing and a little bit daunting. I used to feel really excited about imagining creative ways of using different planners, like really excited. And some year I was able to stick with one planner system throughout that year. In another year, I switched things up in the mid year. And honestly, I think it's all okay. We can get so hard on ourselves by creating specific rules around how we use our analog artifacts. And if that feels like it's holding us back, then Maybe it's time to remind ourselves that we are the authors of our own stories and not the dedicated planners we might have chosen to use at the beginning of the year. Nowadays, I use my planners and notebooks as analog process instead of analog system. And I am more interested in what happens on the pages as I write, document, and reflect instead of the cleverness of how I might use my notebooks and certain layouts. And throughout the day, I use three to four notebooks, each dedicated to a specific purpose. And I would love to take you through my day really quick. In the morning, I usually go through my morning routine, which includes 10 to 20 minutes of focused journaling. I enjoy using open-ended A5 size, lightly gridded notebooks, and currently I am using MD Codex Dot. On the first day of each month, I add a monthly index sticker and leave the spread open as an index page for the month. Throughout the month, I add one thought from the day's journaling session, and it can be an insight a lesson or something I want to remember and after each month I can open the index page to get a sense of the month's overall feeling. It's not a complete index system but more of a mood board and each day I start writing on a new page as freely and organically as possible and sometimes I might add a stamp or sticker but decorating the page is not the primary purpose of my journal page right now. And instead, simply write to dig deeper into my thought process and sometimes stumble upon a new perspective I wasn't aware of before. I usually don't look back my past entries, so it's less about memory keeping but more memory processing. And I have my Codex notebook in my favorite cover, Mojave. And every time I pick up my notebook, I am immediately in my self-reflective space. During the day, I move between Zeeland Light, BK Geo Planner, and BK Grid, all stuffed in my Traveler's Notebook cover. Why so many notebooks? In a nutshell, these three notebooks facilitate scheduling, reflection, BK operation, and not taking. GU's monthly page is my master planner for scheduling. GU's weekly is where I capture moments of pose, where I write a thought that comes to my mind whenever I allow myself to pose and stay still. They are not groundbreaking ideas, but the evidence that I gave myself permission to float inwardly even just a little, between my tasks at hand. These weekly pages have become important as a substitute for picking up my phone to check in. And as much as I can, when I have an urge to pick up my phone, I try to pick up my traveler's notebook as a tangible substitute. So I'm checking in with myself before checking in with the world. Jibun Light in B6 Slim Size is to keep me focused on the BK related tasks. I started carrying my Jibun Light as a separate BK logistic notebook this year because I desperately needed 
a way to clear my path forward. As any business owner can probably relate, my work for BK is never ending and constant. Even though I might not be physically working on specific BK tasks, my mind is always with BK, thinking and dreaming. Everything from day-to-day -day operation to our next step forward to get closer to our mission. To be constantly in that mode is both exciting and overwhelming. And Jibun Weekly Pages give me a solid landing spot where I can keep track of the ever-evolving thoughts and task lists as well as specific to-dos for the day. Grid notebook is my note-taking. I write my draft story there and jot down random notes. It's a notebook with messy pages, but a fun, creative kind. I am using it to not keep the notebook after I finish the last page, and it's interesting. I feel the act of letting go of the need to archive is making the aesthetics of the pages more interesting to look at. Have you had that experience before? A lot of things we knew changed really fast in the past year. When things got rough and uncertain, I found pen and paper steady and grounding, the source of constant. After all, they have been around a lot longer than other digital devices we grew to rely on quite a bit. Through my way of analog process, I am constantly looking for ways to connect with my soul and to make sense of the world around me.